Hey guys, it's the Riker Dane. I'm going to show you how to replace your broken bake element in your oven. So if you're watching this video right now, that means your oven's bake element broke just like mine did. And you need to know how to replace it. So my element somehow was touching the bottom of the oven and arced and ended up turning red hot and then ended up breaking afterwards. So to replace this bake element is pretty simple. All you need to do is take out these two screws. You can either use a quarter inch drive or a square bit drive to take these two screws out. So here's a little bit more light to show you what I'm working with. I've got a square bit or I can just use a quarter inch socket. And all you need to do is get a brand new bake element. You can get those online just about anywhere. This one cost about $37 total. So what you're going to need is a quarter inch socket that you can hook into your drill because that's going to make it a lot easier. Or a square bit. Or if you really want to make it easy, just get an extension with a square bit on it. And then just attach it to your cordless drill. Okay, so the first thing to do is to pull the oven out because we need to get back behind it be able to disconnect the power and this is very important before you replace your bake element. So basically you just take your cordless drill and take these screws out on both the left and the right side and all you have to do is just pull the bake element straight back because we want to get to the wires behind there and we got to be very careful when we pull these out so we don't disconnect the wire as we're pulling it straight back and you also don't want to let that wire fall back behind there because you'll then you'll have to fish it out and it'll be a little bit more difficult. So then we've got a brand new bake element and we're just going to set it right inside the oven right next to the old one and that way we can just disconnect the wire from the old one and connect it right away to the new one and we won't have to worry about those wires falling back behind and having to try to fish them out later. So if you just pull the uh, wire off the old one and just connect it right to the new one and we'll be good to go. And now that we have the new one connected, all we have to do is just pull the old one out of there and then after that all we have to do is push the new bake element straight in. As long as you're doing all this you might as well give it a good cleaning. So then we'll just take our cordless drill and put the screws back in both the left and the right side that hold the bake element in and once that last screw goes in your brand new bake element is installed so let's plug the power in and then let's put the oven back in its place and then all we have to do is turn the bake on 350 and your oven is up and running to start baking some cookies cakes pies and of course bacon so let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside and yep it's working really good it's nice and shiny and clean and we're ready to go I hope this video saved you some money doing it yourself if you haven't subscribed already make sure you do that thanks for watching and I'll see you later